Hello everyone. We are here in my indoor worm bin and this is the third feeding of the uh, second tier here of my vermi hut worm bin. I'm just gonna get some of these guys off the, off the lid. And put the second tier on here about two weeks ago. Um, not because the first tier was ready to harvest, but just because I was running out of room. So I started another tier and uh, used about a third of the bedding from the first tier, uh, bedding and castings. And then I put in uh, shredded Amazon boxes for the rest of the bedding. So we're just gonna kind of dive right in. See what we got here. <laughs> These little guys are stay pretty tight on this. I didn't really shake them off. So we had a pretty big feeding last time. Um, I can tell by all these eggshells too that they have spread all over. Um, there's just little non-moving white specks everywhere, which is the eggshell grit that I give them. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of put this on the lid. This is our feeding zone indicator, so this is where we fed last. Um, and I'm gonna kind of dig through the whole, the whole bin, but right here was the first feeding, this was the second feeding, and then we're gonna feed down here, so. I will just kind of dive right in and check out this first feeding zone. Let's see what we have. Got some red wigglers showing, but definitely no food whatsoever from that first feeding. They have absolutely devoured every bit of it, which I would expect because the food that I give them is really really shredded up or it's soft like strawberry tops um, and you know I had started with 2,000 worms so there's a lot a lot to be fed here so seeing some good worms we'll just come through here and see if anybody's in this zone it does feel just a little bit less damp than I typically feel and that may be just because the Cardboard feels different to my hand, but we'll uh, we'll go through this portion right here. And oh yeah, there are just absolutely tons. As soon as I get my fingers in there, I can feel the worms. I'll make sure I don't. Yeah, they are enjoying that last feeding and I cannot really tell what was fed down there but they yeah I can definitely feel all kinds of worms all throughout they are just absolutely around this right here I can't even tell what's at the center of that. Oh, an apple core. Here's the top of the apple. So, <laughs> just like in the old cartoons and stuff, they definitely like that apple. Definitely take note of what they like. Apples are really good for us, so no doubt that they are good for the plants. Yeah, just worm ball after worm ball. It's pretty incredible to see. I definitely put stuff in here that they liked. Oh, wow. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, it feels like every single worm that was ever in here is inside this area. I 
definitely managed to disturb bits. Now the worms themselves, I got them about 60 days ago, 60, 61 days ago, when I started this whole vermi hut. Um, so even though the tray itself is only 14 days, the um, everything, the whole system is about two months old. Um, so just to kind of give you an idea of what 2,000 worms and that much time and feeding about once a week will get you. That is what we're, that's what we have here. So I did not do a good job of getting them back in their holes there. So I'm gonna give them a pretty good feeding because I thought that was a massive feeding and they devoured everything. I mean, the only thing recognizable to me was um, that apple core. But other than that, they really demolished uh, what was given to them. So I'm gonna come through here and dig a trench. Now I'm not gonna add bedding. I just see so much of this cardboard in here that I don't feel like I need to add additional bedding. It just seems to be there already for them. I know, you know, good theory is you can never have enough bedding and that's certainly true. Um, but at the same time, if you have a lot of bedding, then no need to add more. And you always got next time. You always have next feeding. So I'm just kind of putting some of the paper down here to absorb the liquid. Um, because as this food unfreezes, and it was shredded food, so it's frozen and then unfrozen if I don't use it all when I'm feeding and then refrozen, so it really sucks the, the liquid out of it. So we're gonna go ahead and add some fruit again. Fruit and shredded veggies, broccoli, that kind of thing. So this is what's gonna go in. And pretty good chunks of it too. I'm really happy with that last feeding, how much they're just able to basically attack. Just really impressive. So this is, this is a massive uh, feeding of shredded material. Um, I'm gonna put in some of these lettuces too and see how they attack those. But it is definitely strawberry season. So we're eating a lot of strawberries. So these are gonna be all the strawberry tops and they seem to absolutely love those. So we'll give them, give them what they love. And I'm gonna try to, I've got this big old banana in here. I don't know if I can get it out. It is frozen along with everything else, but just a banana that kind of went to, went too long before we could eat it. So we'll put that in there too. And I have a feeling they are really gonna love this. It's just amazing to me how much they can eat when you have that many worms. They they really just work in 24-7. All right, so we're gonna put on some uh, spent coffee and tea. Just kind of drizzle it on, another food source for them. Whoa, <laughs> I'll have to clean that up later. Oh, geez. Not my most graceful move there. And then I think we'll keep putting some grit on, although I saw it all over the bin. We'll just keep adding that. I really like to see how, you can kind of see the movements of the worms based on where the grit ends up throughout the worm bin, which is always fascinating to me. They really move around a lot. And then we'll just cover it back up, always making sure that the feeding is covered. Because we don't want any, even though it has a lid, I don't want any um, extra critters in here. 
like fruit flies, that kind of thing. But I will tell you what, I am, again, just really impressed with how they did on that last feeding, because as I recall, it was a pretty massive feeding. All right, we'll put back the um, newspaper, put the feeding zone indicator back on. So we know where we fed, not quite towards all the way to the edge, but kind of to the edge and in the middle. And if you like this video, um, feel free to give me a heads up. I appreciate it, or <laughs> heads up. <laughs> give me a thumbs up and hit the like button. And that way I know what kind of stuff people like to see. And that will about do us for the indoor worm bin second level of the vermi hut second tray two weeks from starting it all right everybody take care